I'm Coach Miller, and welcome to All Marine Fighter and today's Aftermath. I want to talk about the aftermath of the zone card of Josh Kelly versus Gabriel Alberto Corzo. I want to first talk about the undercards because the undercards will really point out what's wrong with some of these young boxers. First, we have this kid, uh, his last name was Marksby, white kid, and he went in there with a tough Mexican fighter. Uh, well, forgive me, he may have not been Mexican, he was Hispanic, uh, but he was definitely a journeyman uh, fighter, uh, tough, tough guy, okay. Uh, Marksby, he was a, a former British national champion in the amateurs, uh, apparently he didn't make the Olympics or anything, but one of the things that really stood out about this kid was that he fought with his hands down. Now, Josh Kelly, we're going to talk about him a little, a little later on, but he fought very much like Josh Kelly, except uh, Marksby doesn't have the reflexes. So he caught just nasty one-twos. Uh, he caught nasty hooks and counters and just ate everything uh, the other fighter had for him. And I got to tell you what. I don't know, I don't understand what's wrong with these young fighters wanting to keep their stupid hands down. Keep your stupid hands up, man. You're going to get knocked out. Like, look, if you're really that stupid and you want to dance around thinking you're Floyd stinking Mayweather, but guess what? You're not. Then you're going to get knocked out. And, the, and that dude ate some serious shots. And had it been a harder puncher, Marksby would have been, he'd have been down for the count. That'd have been it. That'd have been done. And but it doesn't stop there. The next fight was Ashfak versus Dylan. Uh, Ashfak, he was this uh, uh, Middle Eastern fighter. Dylan was this this short, stocky white dude that, like, literally, he looked like a pit bull. I'm not gonna lie, he looked like a pit bull. Uh, Ashfak was a, a British, I believe, is British uh, Olympian. Either way, he was supposed to win that fight. It was for the British title. It's one of the lower weight classes. I couldn't remember off the top of my head which weight class is an undercard. You know, it is what it is. But, again, this fighter, Olympian, because he wouldn't be able to get away with keeping his stupid hands down in the amateurs. You wouldn't, you definitely wouldn't make it that far. Uh, he, he did the same thing. Now, there were points where he had his hands up. But, for the most part, he was eating nasty shots from Dylan. Dylan put him down twice. And, you know what? That won him the fight. Now, I will say that Dylan fought his heart out. And he ate a lot more shots than he, than he had to, but Dylan kept his hands up. Like one of the things that Dylan, the problems that Dylan had was that he didn't have much head movement. So his head was like straight on the line, ready to eat every single shot that came at him. But he was like this rabid pit bull. If you watch that fight, I mean, it's kind of worth it in a way to watch an undercard fight. He was like this rabid pit bull and just came straight forward at Ashback, put him down twice. Uh, the fight was relatively close only because you know, Ashfak did get away from him quite often and try to win on points. But I, I got to tell you, congratulations to Dylan on that. And Ashfak, you know what? Your career is over with the second loss and you're, and you're only a prospect. Yeah, your career is pretty much done, dude. You get back to the drawing bar, board and uh, learn what made you a great boxer in the first place. The main event was Josh Kelly versus Corzo. Corzo's from uh, Argentina and he only had one loss on his record. You know, he's a tough journeyman fighter. He's not extremely skilled, but he was extremely tough. Had he had some skill, but obviously, you know, he's B level fighter, but he just he was a real tough dude. He ate everything that Josh Kelly had for him. And I will say this Josh Kelly is so extremely talented, but he has a fatal flaw. The same stupid flaw that a lot of young fighters have is fighting with his hands down. Now this guy Josh Kelly, he's extremely talented in the fact that his reflexes are extremely good. But here's the thing about boxing. You can't dodge them all. You can't dodge them all. Floyd Mayweather has unbelievable reflexes that are just God-given. Like, look, there's just certain people who were born with gifts that just you can't train for. Deontay Wilder barely weighing 200 pounds and with extreme power knocking dudes out with unreal power. I mean, that's just God-given stuff. Floyd Mayweather, the unbelievable matrix matrix reflexes uh, to be able to see punches coming. Like, you're just born with that stuff. Josh Kelly was born with some exceptional speed. 
but he fights with his hands down. See, Floyd Mayweather didn't do that. He fights with his hands up. And the, he, he perfected the Philly Shell, one of the very few to ever really perfect it, okay? But Josh Kelly literally fights with his hands down. And his only loss, his only loss is to a guy that, ter the, that guy that Terrence Crawford just fought. I can't remember if he's Armenian or, or whatever his last name is from that region. Uh, Terrence Crawford knocked him out. That same guy knocked out Josh Kelly. His only loss. Why? He kept his stinking hands down. Like Josh Kelly, he lost to a B-level fighter because he can't keep his stinking hands up. What a waste of talent. Too many fighters. Too many fighters want to waste, absolutely waste their talent by trying to be flashy. Look, boxing is, you can be creative in boxing. Look, there are famous fighters, famous fighters that are very creative in their punching and uh, angles of movement. Uh, types of combinations you can do. I mean, Roy Jones Jr., you know, called him Captain Hook for the multiple hooks that he gave, right? Uh, Floyd Mayweather and his amazing, unbelievable defenses, those types of things. But there's still certain things that you have to do. And one of them is keeping your stinking hands up, man. Look, Josh Kelly is such a great fighter. I, when he first came on the stage, I was like, wow, this kid is so good. But the fatal flaw. You know, it's it's unfortunate. And uh, I watch a lot of up-and-coming fighters, and some of them former Olympians, uh, medalists even, and you see them fall, and it's like, man, what a waste. But, you know, that's the name of the game. That's the name of the game. The ones that stay in the game the longest are the ones that know how to play the game. And so Josh Kelly did beat uh, Corzo. Corzo was kind of a dirty fighter. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I don't know what it is about Argentina, but there's a lot of dirty Argentinian fighters. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We can name several of them in the recent past, okay? Uh, but anyways, he pulled some shenanigans, but uh, he wasn't going to beat Josh Kelly unless he caught him, which is a nasty uh, uh, nasty shot. But it seems like he didn't have enough power to really uh, hurt uh, Kelly. But anyways, Kelly easily won that by decision. But Kelly wants to call, you know fight the uh, the champions and like stop it just stop it you're, you're gonna get knocked out you want to try to take on like a terrence crawford or something just stop shut up don't don't even mention mention terrence crawford or errol spence or anybody like that I, I tell you right now eddie hearn is sure not going to match him up with them because he knows exactly what's going to happen <laughs> yeah good luck with that well anyways uh the card overall was a very good lesson for young fighters watch those fights because it'll teach you what not to do that's a fact but at least the card was entertaining, as that for that much anyways. If you like this content, go ahead and click that like or subscribe button. I'm sure if you're not subscribed and you're watching this, man, go ahead and subscribe, all right? Anyways, till next time, stay motivated.